Welcome to ForeFlight Mobile version 4.9. Some of the new features that we are reviewing in this video are a new mapping engine that makes better use of the iOS hardware capabilities, track up, route labels, and user waypoint and obstacle overlays. First, let's look at the new mapping engine. Created by our partner, BA3, this brand new map engine eliminates distortion and stretching at extreme latitudes and gives you a much more accurate representation of the chart and the world you are flying over. It makes use of the graphics processor of the mobile device as well as its CPU for fluid movement and still provides access to all the charts and overlays that you have come to love. In addition to the new mapping engine, this update to ForeFlight will allow you to select Track Up if you desire. You can select Track Up Centered, which will position your airplane icon in the center of the display, or Track Up Forward, which will place the icon a bit lower on the screen. North Up is still available as an option, and you can toggle between North Up and Track Up anytime. You select the desired mode here through Settings, and enable it over here on the New Orientation button, which represents a compass needle with the red side pointing north. It becomes visible when you tap the Auto Center icon, it will give a constant indication of which way is north, and if you tap that button, ForeFlight will toggle between North Up and Track Up. If you're in Track Up mode, and you pan away to investigate an airport or review the chart, the map will stay oriented the way it was. If you prefer to review the map in a North Up orientation, simply tap the Orientation button to return the map to its normal North Up mode. To return to your airplane's place on the map, you can use the Auto Center button and ForeFlight will resume track up mode if that's where you left it. Route labels are now available on the map page as well, available here through settings. When route labels are on, you will see a label for each point defining your route. There are also two new overlays, user waypoints and obstacles. When you activate user waypoints, you will see them displayed as markers on the map. You'll remember that user waypoints are created and accessed through the More tab. When obstacles are turned on, you will see an icon for every obstacle on your map. When you tap the obstacle icon, you will see the information related to that obstacle. For more information, please visit our blog or our website. And as always, you can send an email to team at From all of us here at Team Forflight, thank you.